Guys, we're back. We're back after one of the best weekends I've had in a long time because I got to watch freaking spoiler alert for Mandalorian season two finale. Freaking got to watch Luke Skywalker just kick some ass. Gosh. And now we get to watch some more Norm McDonald. A lot of you guys say that and send me the links to this where Conan is on, uh, I mean, Norm's on uh, Conan. So I'm down for that. I can't admit. I'm just picturing it right now because we've already on the channel watched a few of his videos where he's just making like a radio host or someone just so uncomfortable by saying something either true or just ridiculous. But I can't wait to watch this. I can't imagine what he's like on a talk show. So thank you all for the recommendations. Keep liking and subscribing and commenting some of the videos you want me to react to because this has been freaking it's just been a great way to start every morning. And let's cover a couple of things before we watch it. Yes, I'm on the treadmill. No, I will not stop doing these on here because this is my only time to do these. And I recognize that I look like the Mexican Jimmy Fallon, even though I'm not Mexican. That is all. All right, let's get to this. It's uh, stunning how uh, Jay Leno outfoxed you again. <laughs> Yeah, he's good. I know. <laughs> you think, like, everybody's like, oh, I'm Jay Leno. They do the voice. And <laughs> Meanwhile, he's the shrewdest guy. He outfoxed. You're, you're in good company. He yeah. outfoxed Johnny Carson, <laughs> David Letterman. Every 10 years, some redheaded rube shows up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the phone call you got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> your agent's like, there's good news and bad news. You are doing the Tonight Show. It's true. Mm hmm. But remember that discussion where we had where you said, I'll never have to follow Lenny again? Oh my gosh. So he's on TV, bro? Yeah. Well, I mean, TBS, right? Sorry. Okay. Please, Please, You mind. came over, didn't you? A little fighting, a little fornicating. <laughs> What's he, an old pirate all of a sudden? Ah. You notice how I didn't say Is it still that? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> 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 no, because it's 11.30. It's that tonight's show now, buddy See, boy. That's what I'm trying to we point out. It's uh, 11.30. Thanks for pointing that out. That was... Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got more. Hey, Yoko Ono is not mad about you this week. <laughs> mad about you? Okay, that we have remember. Yeah, Can that's I... pretty cool. She'll be playing a conniving bitch who broke up the Beatles. All right, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> is she that beloved? Sure. It's interesting what you say when you go, like, America is the greatest country in the world or something, because, like, imagine, like, you're just saying that on account of you live there, because let's say you hear a guy who goes, hey, man, Kenya, that's the greatest country in the world. <laughs> you better <laughs> believe that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> No, no. He's just himself no matter what. And I freaking love that. I'm inspired by that. Jeez. Hey, so. Okay, here's a windmill. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're gonna f me? <laughs> you're too old because you want to attack and fly away. I love you. Let's bump the pit Not, uh, <laughs> not salad tossing. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm to return to my former sexual lifestyle. Well, yeah, what's that? It's uh, trying to find a lady and convincing her to let me lie down on top of her. <laughs> that sounds so romantic, the way yeah, you describe it. I want to lie down on top of you yeah. what, and take a nap? What do you... <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying I'm very simple. I don't, yeah. need, I don't need no, uh, you know, uh, I don't need no where they whip your balls or anything. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good. I'll tell you this. What's that, Norm? My doctor told me oh, yeah? I'm on the same dose that they give to the donkey for the second show in Tijuana. Okay, now listen. <laughs> <laughs> for the second show, you know? Why do I continue to have you on? <laughs> and no, yet I no. love it. No, the second show. Uh, the <laughs> you want to. You really started at the wrong end. Look, that's the bit there. All right, uh, all right. Well, that's okay. so top oh, dude. Like that. An episode of Gordon Ramsay and Norm would be freaking incredible. My gosh. Uh, look, come on, wake up. Stand I'm, up, up. I'm yeah, up to four no. segments. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you didn't tell me a number of segments? No. 
He no, wants no, no, the no, no, edges no, no, off, no, I think. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Turn it around. Okay. What? Come on, no! <laughs> this will never be seen by anybody. Just, just concentrate. We've learned. Norm, you're making me feel dizzy standing there looking busy. Right, right. here we go. Yeah. This is cool. Cool. Hey, one day, man, I'm not eating this. We're even having a cooking segment at this point. Why are they even doing a cooking segment? <laughs> When did you hit bottom? I, I said, I don't know. The cool part of it was the girls all get up, right? And they're, all their stories are all the same. Whenever they hit bottom, right. every story is the same. They're like, oh, uh, w when I hit bottom, uh, you know, uh, I, I uh, b a guy for a drink, you know? And you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <every> <laughs> Couldn't we just take them out of the studio for the norm part and then bring them back? <laughs> <laughs> Get no. a salad guard up, something? So anyways. All right, yeah, well, that's a nice story. Uh, now, listen, we want to talk about your uncle, because every time you come on the show, you have a story about your uncle who lives up in Canada. Oh, yeah, he's a Frenchman. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And you always have, like, a little story Jean about him. Jean-Luc. Jean oh, yeah, he's a crazy character, that dude. He originally visited New York City. Hello? <laughs> I'm just having a drink. I can listen to you and have a drink. <laughs> it's not like it went like this. Hold it. Ooh. <laughs> ah, liquid. Huh? I'm still here. Let's see if I got this right. You've got an uncle, lives up in Canada, named Jean-Luc. Yeah, Jean-Luc. Occasionally he visits. Once a time he visited New York. <laughs> so I, I'm living in New York, you know? And uh, Jean-Luc, I, I am excited. Jean-Luc's going to come by, my crazy Frenchman uncle. So he gets in the cab, right? When he gets to the airport. Yeah, when he gets to the airport, the cab driver picks him up, and the cab driver says to him, Hey, Frenchman, he says, uh, <laughs> he says uh, you know, he says, uh, do you like uh, riddles, you know? So my uncle Jean-Luc, is like, ah, oh, yes, I love the riddle. That's how he talks. <laughs> he goes, I like nothing better than a riddle. So the cab, he's like, all right, here's one, right? So he's, here's the riddle. His brothers and sisters, I have none, but this man's father is my father's son. So my, uh, uh, my uncle goes, ah... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Right? <laughs> so the cabbie goes, uh, it's me. It's me. Oh, yeah. Makes oh, sense. Oh, he thinks about it. Oh, my God. He says, that's a good uh, riddle there. He says, I have to tell my wife, Mary Claire, when I get back to Gaspé. That's where he lives, Gaspé. Right. So uh, he's like, uh, take me back to the airport. And the cabbie's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the cabbie's like, I thought you wanted to go visit Norm there. No, no, no. I go back to the airport. All right. You know, I have to tell Mary Claire. Seems odd, right? Right. Gets back Seems on the plane, right? flies all the way back home eh? there to uh, Gas Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets back, right? Runs uh -huh. in the door. Mary Claire, Mary Claire, let's move. You know, where are you, Mary right. Claire? Uh, come on down here. I have a riddle for you. She goes, oh, Jean-Luc, I love the riddle. She's a woman, high voice. <laughs> So, uh, and Michael Jackson was visiting. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, oh, you're going to love this riddle. How was New York? Forget about that. I got the riddle. Uh, brothers and sisters, I have none. But this man's father, he is my father's son. She goes, oh, I don't know. Who is it? Some cab driver back in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what hit me to those ladies? Rest in peace. Right? There's like no way they're alive, right? But they got to watch Norm MacDonald live. That's what they did. It's beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, man.
You didn't mean to do that, did you? No, I did. Be honest. You okay, here's something. For I think I might have said this in a previous video. Sorry if I did. My wife always likes to have this conversation. Right when we're going to bed, by the way. Like, we've had all day to have a cool, you know, chat about something. But uh, when it starts hitting like 9 p.m., I am starting to be like, I am tired. Because I wake up so early. That's when my wife has, wants, like, gets an idea of a conversation to have. Love you, babe. So, she always asks me, who would I like to take to like a dinner with me? Like, who would I think would be the funnest dinners? And I've always mentioned, you know, one of the people I would love to go to dinner with is Jordan Peterson. I think he's a he's a boss. Um, Norm MacDonald is now on that list. Like, who would have thought this would have happened when we embarked on this journey together a few weeks ago? I didn't mean to I do didn't that. At all. I just got to the end. <laughs> That guy, man, I always tell my uncle, you shouldn't curse him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. But, uh, <laughs> whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what a stupid story. <laughs> I like it when an interview ends with blah, 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 whatever. Well, uh, Will and Grace. Oh, that's true, man. One time my buddy was with a hooker, he was telling me. <laughs> Wait a minute, you have a hooker story? Yes. Here seriously. we go. And he said that, uh, okay. he said that, he phoned me up once, he was in Vegas, and he's like, hey man, I'm with this hooker, but uh, uh, I think she ripped me off, man, because she had, uh, she took the money, right? Oh no, yeah. She, she said, she said, I'm gonna, she said some about like, I'm gonna go into the bathroom to get a, a towel to wipe off your balls or something. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. Olympics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad shoes, khaki pants, t-shirt with a button-up shirt on top of it. Freaking hero, man. Legend status right there. <laughs> Still with the ladies, yes. Wait a minute. That's her. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing I tonight? I'm glad you can't, you can't remember the rest <laughs> all of our stars. Yeah, you only remember the wild crucial wild. sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this is a network show. No, we gotta. This is like going to Salt Lake City tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Total meltdown tonight. How's that? Okay, oh, yeah. Really. Will and Grace is on Tuesdays at nine. On NBC, the same network, by the way. Which Guys, before we close this out, all I need to bring up is... Babe, if you're watching, I need that for Christmas. Like, I need to start wearing that every time I do these. It's a f so great. Guys, what's the next one? Comment down below. Love y'all. Oh, great stuff, dude. Bless you, Norm.